In this Fuforia Studio tutorial, we'll review the list widget, including configuring the list widget and connecting data to the list widget using ThingWorks data services. The list widget in Vuforia Studio allows you to display any data set in a single column list view. The list widget is a 2D widget designed to be visible in a dedicated part of the screen when viewing an experience. This differs from a 3D widget where visibility depends on the 3D coordinates and the current field of view of the mobile device the experience is being viewed on. Now, let's take a look at an example of a list widget. So first, let's create a project. In Vuforia Studio, we can leverage the list widget in both AR and 2D projects. We'll work with an AR project in this example. First, let's give the project a name. Next, we need to switch to the 2D view and then locate the list widget from the widgets panel on the left hand side of the screen. Once we've located the list widget, we'll drag and drop it into one of the panels on the 2D canvas, for example, the center panel. Once it's in place, it can be configured by its properties on the right hand side. The list property is a binding target for the data we want to display in our list widget. Typically, you bind all items from a data service to this property. We'll come back to how we do this in a minute. The class defines the CSS style being used for the list. There's a default class for all widgets available on Vuesphoria Studio, but experienced developers can customize the style of any widget using CSS or JavaScript. We'll take a look at a basic example of how we can do this with CSS at the end of this tutorial. Multi-select allows the user to select multiple items in the widget. The label property defines what data item we want to display in the list widget from the bound data. List padding sets the space around the list item. Numbers can be entered followed by various supported formats to define the padding. Please refer to Vuforia help for more information on the supported formats. Studio ID is the default ID given to a widget when used in a canvas and friendly name changes the name of the widget displayed in the views panel on the far left. Let's change the friendly name of this widget to new list. Lastly, the item click JS icon allows the experienced developer to add JS expressions to customize widget behavior using JavaScript. This topic will be covered in a later tutorial. So in this example, we're going to add an external data source to our experience that will pull data in for our list. To add an external data source, click the plus sign next to external data in the far right panel. First, we need to search for the entity from ThingWorks we want to pull data from. In this example, we are going to use a Thing template for ceiling fans. So let's search for our ceiling fan Thing template entity. Next, we'll filter the list of services to find and add the Get Implementing Thing service to the experience by clicking on the plus sign next to the service name once it's located. This service will allow us to pull a list of the things, in this case, fans, that use the ceiling fan thing template. Now that we've added our data service, let's close the Add External Data pane. Next, we drag all items from our Get Implementing Things service onto our list property to bind the available data to our list. Then, we will configure the service to invoke on startup of the experience and auto-refresh while the experience is in use. We'll set the auto refresh to every five seconds. We also want to leave auto select first row checked so that the first row of data is automatically selected when the service is loaded. Next, we need to define what data item we want to populate in our list in the label property. Expand the current selected item menu from the external data panel to view the available data items. In this case, we want to display the name of the fans that use the ceiling fan thing template. So, we type name in the label field. Finally, we make sure the visible property is checked, and then we can preview our list widget. You can see that the list widget is positioned in a dedicated part of the screen, overlaid on top of the 3D canvas. There's also a scroll bar that will enable the user to scroll right to left to view the full space available in the list widget. Before we wrap up, let's take a quick look at changing the list style using CSS to affect the application styling of our list widget. Back in Vuforia Studio, I can add CSS styling under the Styles panel in the far left of the screen. When I select Application from the panel, I can add CSS code that specifies, for example, 
the background color and text color of the list widget. Once I've added my CSS code, I can save the experience again and generate a preview of the new list widget styling. In this tutorial, we reviewed how to work with list widgets in Vuforia Studio. For more information, please visit vuforia.com.